Welcome to Dice Tower Live. All right, hey, welcome back, everybody. We have Vernon in the house today. Hey, how's it going? So say hello, Vernon. Hello, Vernon. Uh, and I'm Sam Healy. Welcome back to our live streaming stuff. Yeah. Uh, we have got uh, Drop Zone issue number one from Heroes of Blackreach, uh, which is a collaboration between Yellow, Games Workshop, and Devil Pig. Uh, it is a Warhammer 40k game which uses the Heroes of Normandy tactical system. Okay. Uh, so if you've played Heroes of Normandy, you will basically have an idea of what's going on here today. It is just set within the Warhammer 40k universe. Uh, with that having been said, we will go over basic ideas and I'm not guaranteeing that we will not make any mistakes because it's been a while since I've played Heroes of Normandy, but uh, we have read through the rule book uh, and refreshed my memory and Vernon's never played before. so I have not. I, I have not played either Warhammer nor... Yeah, we still got to get that... Yes, Eighth edition I, have, game I have them together. at my house, half, yeah. half painted. Half painted, yeah. Half painted. Mine are half painted as well. <laughs> Life happens, man. Yes, All does. right, so uh, what we're going to do here, basically, we are, uh, it is a tactical squad level game where I have my force, uh, which is uh, built a certain way. We won't go over how army composition is put together and all that kind of stuff because that's kind of uh, boring-ish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're using the basic scenario. Yeah, we're just using the basic switch. scenario and all of the how we're supposed to set up the troops for that basic scenario and all that kind of stuff. So basically, uh, one of the cool things about the Heroes of Normandy system is that uh, all of your information that's necessary to play the game uh, for your dice rolls, how far you move and everything like that, it's all on this uh, cardboard token. Uh, it has a top-down view of the squad. And then it also has uh, all of the different stats that the, the, uh, the unit needs. Uh, the middle thing here is its defense. Um, and then the other ones going from uh, right, top, and then down is, is a bonus that you're going to get to shoot at uh, infantry, light vehicles, and then heavy vehicles. And then going up the side of the token, you have different abilities that it will give your side. If it's a sword with a plus number on it, then it's mm. that's not focused. Yeah. <laughs> We're good there. Uh, the, uh, if it's a sword with a plus number, then that's going to be a bonus to assault. If you're going into an assault, which is basically hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, um, if uh, there's a lot of different kinds of things on there, I don't want to go over all of them because I don't want to bog down. I want to go ahead and get into the game and, and uh, uh, show you how it's played. Lose. But, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Probably will. Um, on top of that, all of the unit's stats are on the tokens. Any terrain effects are actually printed on the board. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, this is a paper uh, fold-out map. Uh, the, the core set, the core game, is going to actually come like Heroes of Normandy did with actual cardboard tiles. Okay. And it's a modular yeah, board gonna, setup. I was going to ask if they were modular. Cause yeah. This screams Absolutely. replayability. Absolutely. Term. Yeah, it does. So um, there's different effects that we'll, we'll be doing. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, go over all of that kind of stuff as we're actually doing it all right so the scenario says that the ultramarines are going to have the first go um, but what we do first is we actually go through the order phase the order phase is where we're going to be taking our order tokens here and uh, assigning them to the units that we're going to move uh, so you have on one side these different tokens but on the other side you have the numbers and that will be the order in which they will act during the course of the round uh he's he has initiative to start off with so he'll be activating his one first and then i'll activate my one and then he'll activate his two and so forth and so on now i have four activation tokens vernon only has three so in this first round i will have two turns in a row towards the end but his troops are a little bit more powerful than mine are. Uh, I have more troops, which is normal for the Orcs squad. Um, they just have overwhelming numbers, but they die really easy. They're very squishy. Um, 
Marines, however, are a little bit more resilient. All right, so uh, what we first of all will need to do is, is draw our hand yeah. of cards. So we get two cards. The scenario states that we have a hand limit of two, and we start the game with two. Uh, these cards are going to be different things that can be played at certain times uh, that will either hurt my opponent or help me. Um, and once we have activated all of our units, this token here will flip over to the se next side, showing that the orcs go first this round, and, and so forth and so on. All right, uh, so let me take a look at my cards here. Uh, let's see, I do have chat open on my computer too, so if we're making uh, a mistake or something to that effect, please let us know. We'll try to catch it as, as well as we can. Again, we are imperfect people, so uh, we are not, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a uh, specimen let's see. of something. Okay. All right. So these this are, is the orders cool phase, cards. just so everybody yes. knows. Yes, we're in the orders phase right now. Yes. So uh, he's already gone ahead and done that. I'm going to, let's see, who do I have? I have... You have a lot of people over Big there. shooters, sluggers, shooters, boss mob. Uh, all righty. Well... I gotta see what my guys do as well. Cause I'm afraid they're gonna get damaged right off the bat. Although they had some pretty high defense. Yeah, they do. Like I said, man, Marines are tough. They're tough. Also, it's just one die. What's that? Want two dice. Oh. Hang on, the die. Whew. I like these cards. Your hand limit is two cards. Okay. All right. So I think that is about it. Let's see here. See Hello, that. Nicholas Matthias. Hello, Ducati. Five ones. Um, <laughs> Hello, mystery dice tower person behind the keyboard. No, I am the mystery dice tower person behind the keyboard. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Derek is out uh, dutifully editing some of Tom's uh, list, top 10 lists and, and reviews and stuff like that. So uh, uh, he is going to be uh, not in here with us. Uh, we just have some static shots uh, going on the board. So um, it's going to be a little bit lower key, I guess you could say, today. And I think we have, just to let everybody know, I think we have determined that we're going to be playing Warhammer Shade Spire after this. Sure. Yeah. So that's just a little bit of a ex extra thingy there. Yeah. All right. So um, we are now in the activations phase. Vernon's right. Ultramarines have initiative, so he can move and or fire. Okay. But some of his units do have a move uh, fire on the move ability. Um, but he doesn't have any. Uh, they have zero range to any opportunity of, your of targets anyway. Yes. So, all righty then. Um, let's see here. I forgot what I did. Whoop. There we go. Um, all right. And Roy, if you end up watching, this one's for you. Roy. <laughs> there we go. Label out. <laughs> Label out. <laughs> All right, so I got my one here. Uh, my big shooters are going to move three. Um, Bring it. So I think we will simply go one, two, three, mm. like that. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't believe we have line of sight. Line of sight is drawn by center to center, and I think it's going to pass through that. So. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. I'm going to activate the melt gun squad. They're going to go one, two, three. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. My sluggers are going to go next. And they have a movement of three as well. We're just going to move them straight up here. And that.
that. I have a range of four though. One, two, three, four. No range. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to activate Militia. He's going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, Derek is monitoring the chat. Ooh, ninja. <laughs> All right, so Militia went. No, oh. your last guy. Man, he can go. roll. All right, so my three and four will be able to go on the same time. All right. Uh, generally speaking, let me just let everybody know this. The reason he only has three activations and I have four, it's based on the number of stars that are on his units' yep. uh, placards, basically. So he only has three stars on those units, um, which means that he only gets three activation tokens. I have four on mine, so I get four activation tokens. All right. So... Um, yeah, this squad here comes with two, and Brother Militia has to be activated every turn because he has a personal order. Yeah. He's a personal vendetta against these orcs. <laughs> um, all right, my uh, sluggas over here are a three, are my three, and they can move three. One, two, three, which will allow me to take a pot shot. Oh man, it's only a one though, so I'd have to roll a five or a six. <laughs> She's Louise. And then he's gonna assault next turn, I'd imagine. So we're just gonna <laughs> We're gonna be smart little orcs and go one, two, three over here and get in this crater, which gives me a little bit more defense. And then my number four is my boss. Ooh, the boss. Yeah. He is going to go. He moves four. One, two, three. Oh, bring him up, huh? Four. I think that's right, right? One, two, three, four. Mm hmm. Yeah, and there's. You can always move diagonal as long as there isn't. This little like this little thing here that that covers the nexus. You can't go diagonal here, but if there's no uh, blockage there, you can always move diagonal. So it's one, two, three, and then four. So he's gonna come on up, and um, I gotta double check. I think we can. I think assaults are different. They're not considered a firing action. Can you double check that for me real quick? Suppress marker, action marker, action marker. <laughs> I'm not sure what assault is. Let's let me see. Let me see the book. Oh, assault rules. Yeah. In order to launch an assault, you must declare it before beginning your unit's movement action. You must carry out the assault all the way through, if possible. When you declare an assault, you must also designate the target of the assault. The target may be an invalid target when you declare the assault. Uh, an assault can only be launched from an unoccupied square that is adjacent to the target of the assault. The attacker must follow the normal movement rules in chapter. Okay, we did that. Okay. If the target unit is destroyed before the attack of the assault is resolved, you may change targets or cancel. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going to assault um, Malcian. Okay. Brother Malcian, and with our boss mob. So we're going to get. Um, we have a plus two. Um, and then because we're in assaults, we get an additional plus two. So that's plus four one with die. with one die. Yeah. And you need to hit a six, you get seven, a eight. Seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So I get, you, ready? Get, you need a four better. I got a four better, yeah. So it's 50-50 chance here. And that's uh, nothing. <laughs> so you get to roll as well, though, because you are part of the assault. And so you are... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The attacker oh no, the attacker rolls two dice. So you roll the three. And take the higher? Yeah. So okay. it's a six. The so. defender rolls one die. The defender enters in the alright. The player who obtains the highest result wins the assault. There you go. So you have nine, I have ten. Yes. Because you have basically the same thing I as I do. Two, four, 
and we also have these as well because yep. we're all in the same thing. So uh, I believe Malcian though, does he have an armor save? I don't think he does. No, it doesn't show. Yeah, no, it's the... Yeah. No, he does. Five or better. Okay, so now you get to roll so that he doesn't flip over, possibly. <laughs> oh, he flips over twice. The roll of a one, man. <laughs> All right, I'll flip him over twice. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, so that is my three and four. And that will be the end of the round. Um, is there another phase I cannot remember? After the activation phase, I don't. Uh, there's a support phase, but I can't remember what we do. Oh, we move the rest of the people who we did right. not activate. Okay. In um, <coughs> order, so I move first my guys, and then you move your guys. All right, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Then he moves four. One, two. One, two, three, four. We'll go up there. And these guys move three. One, two, three. Boop. You're done? Yes, sir. Okay. He has three, so he's going to go one, two, three. Yep. Over here. So it's order phase, activation phase, and, and then supply phase. One, two, three. And then one, two, wait, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, like so. Okay. All right, and then these guys come off again. All right, let me just check a couple things. Uh, oh, it looks like cool kids have showed up. Kabuki Kid, Mark Street. Let's see here. Let me pop this chat out. And that'll be a little bit easier for me to keep track of. All right, let me just check uh, how is everyone today. Everyone's fine. Mark, thank you for joining us. Derek on keyboards. Sam on guitar. And Tom on vocals. Um, <laughs> Vernon on vocals. Would Z be a drummer or a bass guitar? Probably bass guitar. I could see him being bass. Yeah. Uh, like one of those slappers, too. Like he doesn't actually play it. He just slaps it. Uh, let's see. Derek... Uh, I cannot actually play keys like that. I, w I just wish I could, and that's what Derek said. <laughs> just the fact that you like yes is good enough. Um, que pasa? What's up? Rush fan, hi all. What band do you like? Okay, ding, they're not, ding, I don't, ding, 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 ding. I don't even know if they're paying attention no. to what we're doing. They'll here. watch it later. Yeah, they'll watch it later. They're just <laughs> talking to everybody right now. So that's cool. All right, so also during the uh, supply phase, I believe we would draw back up to yes. our hand limit. There's no reason to hoard these. Um, mine just didn't come into effect, which is why I didn't play them. So uh, you would also draw back up to your hand phase, uh, your, your hand limit at the, um, at the end of that supply phase, I believe, or at the beginning of your next turn, one of the two, somewhere in that end start phase. This guy flips over, so the orcs will go first this round, which is cool because I might be able to kill somebody before he gets to act. But Vernon's not happy about that. I am not happy about that. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see here. We are definitely uh, going to be... I wonder what number that is. Um, and then <clears throat> we'll go with these guys here. And those guys there. And let's see here. Um, these guys here. All right, uh, you've got yours placed, so we're gonna go ahead and do number one. And I'm gonna play this action card. 
I'm going to say, I don't even know what it does. Yeah. I'm going to say, no! <laughs> Play at any time, cancel an action card that your opponent just played. Ooh. This he one. takes it back into his hand and we'll be able to play it again next turn. This one is if you don't have any, uh, or if you don't have initiative, you can activate your unit before your opponent. Oh, I'm glad I had that card then. No, no, no. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to play this at the end. Oh, no, we already did the order space. Dang. I should have played it. Well, either way, it would have helped. <laughs> well, both of them would have helped. Yeah. But I, wouldn't want, I wanted to do the other one first. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm initiating another assault yep. uh, on Malcian, and so I'm going to roll two dice. I have four plus my highest die roll here, which is a three, so that's seven, which does cause a wound, possibly. <laughs> Especially since you rolled a one again. These dice, I'm going to need to roll five or better for Yeah, five sake. or better. Oh, poop. <laughs> oh, poop. <laughs> All righty. Well, did the best I could. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yep. I imagine. <laughs> so you're ro you're you're initiating another, uh, I, I imagine. Yes. Um, I'm actually going to spend an ammo token. Ooh, and give yourself plus one, huh? Can ammo tokens be used in assault? Actually, that's a good question. I was thinking I about think that. So. That's why I was like, uh, firing action. Nope. So only the swords that are on printed on their card okay so kabuki said we, we are also watching the game <laughs> uh lies uh let's see all good here blah 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 yeah, nobody can see that. b offensive b e offensive i'm trying so that's a three yep oh, so that's a five, but... you have a seven all together yeah uh four seven. plus three so I have four. I need to roll. Th I need to roll a four or higher, which I did not. Just rolled a two. Do you have armor? I do, um, and it is a five plus. Five or better on yours so as well. So here we go. Nope. One. Let's see square die. So he's flipped over. So there's that. Um, but you know what? Uh, that is, um, that you is know what? Huge. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Uh oh. What? Play when one of your infantry units, that is an infantry unit. Um, must suffer a hit, which he does, or be eliminated following an assault. Um, he's not being eliminated, but he does suffer a hit because he lost the assault. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it works. Ignore the result. <laughs> uh, and put a suppressed marker on him. So that's one of these things. Uh, no, yes. Yeah. Um... Flip its token to the most mobile side, which is where it is right now. Uh, your unit must retreat two spaces regardless of its movement value. If your opponent is the attacker, his unit must take the space your unit originally occupied. Oh, okay. So we're so going to go one, forward. two. Yes. <laughs> and let me just make this clear. You were pushing forward toward a mob of orcs. Yes. Not the smartest idea. Yeah. But anyway. And yeah, now it's your two. All right. Now it's my two. Um, that's my big shooter. So he will go one, two. Um, ah, three. So you can move or shoot. Okay, so he's not moving and shooting. He can only do one of the he, Well, he cannot move and shoot. He doesn't have that. Ah, he doesn't that, have... Yeah, so he doesn't have that, correct. The the movement with the... Oh, there we go. Okay. I kind of worried there for a second. Go ahead. All right. Oh, don't don't you worry your pretty little head. Yeah. Um, one, two, three... 
One, two, three. Oh, actually. I'm going to go one. Can't go that way. Oh, that's right. I can't. Sergeant's trying to cheat. He is. Sergeant Solnius. <clears throat> Sue Park says, thought Vernon only played minis games. Technically, well, this is kind of, kind of? Yeah. It's the cardboard version of a miniatures game. It is. And actually, um, I was talking to my, my kids on the way up here, and they were asking because they said the same thing. Um, and I told them this, the, uh, you know, the Warhammer universe, I think that this is more of an intro to that to oh, that get could people be that. to pull them into, you know, building miniatures and doing yeah, things like that. Yeah, I can like see that. that. Um, I can definitely see that. This is a very, you know, str strategic game. All right, so he has a move and shoot, but I don't know if I can. What's up? What are you at? What do you need? What do you want? If I can throw a grenade in. Oh, you're wondering if you can throw a grenade through that. No, if I can move. And then one, throw a two, grenade. One, two, three, yeah, and just take the minus one to whatever. Let me see the book. I will. Ah. Uh, this is the gear options. The gear options, okay. Da, da, da. Comma value, grenade print on the grenade mark, and maximum range two inner spaces. Unit can throw a grenade over terrain elements as long as it does not exceed the two inner space range. When you use a grenade, pla pl place the matching template on the target interspace. Uh, there is never any scatter. Every unit, even partially under the template, is. Uh, Is attacked. Resolve each attack individually. Um, where does it talk about movement? Let me see. Um, Let me see. Okay, these are all recruited. Force mo movement actions. When a unit takes a movement action, it can move a number of squares up to its movement. Um, it can be zero. You can move diagonally. Two units can't be in the same spot. Okay, grenades says grenades is an alternate firing action. Okay. Um, so I would imagine that you can move so and the shoot. The unit can take one of the two following actions when activated a movement action or a firing action. So yes, I may do an alternate firing action. Uh, where is it? But you'll still get the. Some special abilities and action cards can modify a firing action or can be used instead of a firing action this can, is called taking an alternate firing action yeah so you'll you'll get your minus one but you can do that yeah all right so <coughs> has two enter spaces so one two let me see so it doesn't look like it's going to count the one that it's right next to okay so it counts this one here I and think this so. One yeah. Here? yeah, which is probably better <laughs> for you. All right. So, what happens now is uh, each unit that it is uh, is an automatic hit. No, I have to roll a die still. Yeah, yeah. You still do have to roll a die. So, um, yeah. So here we go. So this comes over like this, and so against infantry, you're going to get plus two. Okay. Um, well, plus one because I'm minus one right now. Right. Do I? I don't get his plus two. I only get the grenade. I believe. So I believe plus so. one to whatever this is. Cur you can use ammo. No, only brother militia has the ammo. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Six. What? Seven. Six. Seven. All right. So. Uh, you have to roll separately for both for for all of the units. Well, you know who I'm hitting. You're first. You're hitting him first. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, he doesn't have any cover, so that is definitely a hit. So I need to roll a five or higher. No, you don't. That's not a five or higher. <laughs> I would have been minus two to that anyway because I was oh, impressed. Oh yeah. Oof. Um, <laughs> Negative that's, one. That's hor horrible. All right. So boss mob has uh, has been flipped. Okay, 
and is still suppressed. And there. And we'll go with this back one this first. This guy here? Yeah, so it's a the... six. Well, it's whatever I roll, plus one. Yes. Well, no, because he's a plus one defense. So it's straight roll. Uh, yes. Six. Got it. And I don't believe my sluggas have any armor <laughs> saves. They're just kind of squishy. Uh, so he gets flipped over. And the shooters. And gee whiz. <laughs> Holy hand grenade, Batman. <laughs> there you go. He's seen Ready Player One. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is expended, so I'm going to throw that off to the side. Okay. All righty then. So now it is my number three, correct? Yes. Which is this guy right here. My shooters. My shooters. Um. Toes can play that game. Uh-oh. We're just going to stay there and chuck a grenade at you. All right. Um, now, he is kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Yes. So he's got no bonuses. It's just his six. He, however, has a plus two for saves, over, I mean, for defense over here as well. So he's going to be an eight. So that is two. So you need who are you picking first? It's um, only one. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I'm a fidgeter. I'm gonna. We're gonna go after S S Solnius first. So this has got to be a four or higher, and it is not. And then this <laughs> is got to be a six, I think. Yeah, because yeah, he's he has a eight. two, and, it, and the grenade is a two. Oh yeah, so it's a six. Ugh, nothing. Dud grenades. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> that's what happens when you pack the explosives yourself. Yes, that's true. All right, uh, so that was my number three, my shooters. All right, um, gee, I wonder what my number three is. They are going to go one, two, okay. and assault you. All righty. Now, we do have an assault icon, but we don't have an, a plus to, plus it. to it. So we can activate in the assault, we just don't get any bonuses to All it. Right, so. so you go ahead and roll two and add your one. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Maybe I won't do that. Because the object of this one is to hold the four points around there. What's that? The objective is to hold four points. Oh, really? I, there's an objective? So the goal of this scenario is to control... Oaks don't need objectives. Control the area around the central genitorium. Gener... 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 Yep. Generatorium. Sure. It's probably a generator of some sort. Yeah, and it's a torium. Yes. It, it generates torium. Yes, there you go. All right. So these spaces are highlighted on the map right there. So this yeah. will do. At the end of game six, the player who occupies the most of those four spaces wins the game. We didn't even know that was one of the winning conditions. We were just yeah. coming up here to get a better shot at you. They wanted to generate torium. Yes, that's exactly what <laughs> we If they are tied, the player with the most victory points for broken combat groups wins. All right. You're up. Um, in that case... Oof. I do and I don't. Yeah, we're going to go one, two. We're going to go here. Okay. And assault. All righty. Go ahead. Jeez. Seven, um, which is definitely more than my four. <laughs> um, and so I get to roll, and I have a. Th well, no, yours was a seven, uh, seven, ten, and I have a three, so three. I I can't get yeah. higher. But I did the best that I could. You did that A for effort. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so we flip over. Um, and that was your three. I've done my three, now it's my four. So my four is over here, and my shooters are going to, they can move three, one, two, three, no. 
One, two, three, yes. Yes. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I will be adjacent to, to two, but I can. I think I can only pick one. Yes, for assault. It'll be an assault, yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. I do have the upper hand. Well, no, actually, that would be an even roll because my... My regular bonus is only a plus one, so... Sue, I actually don't own Forbidden Stars, but if I did, Two, it would three. be painted. <laughs> of course it would. I think you have cardboard games that are painted. Um, no, I have meeple, uh, like uh, wooden meeple games that are painted. My Robinson Crusoe is painted. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> All right. It's on my Instagram. It makes more sense. Let's see. Yes, who are you attacking? Bring it. Yeah, we're going to attack him yes. because we're even with him. They have a slight advantage because of their plus three. So we're going to attack Solness. Um, and I've got one, two, three plus my highest die roll. And I've got three plus my roll. So that's seven. Oof. Got it. And he needs a five or better. Hmm? They all have armor. Yeah, yeah, I know. Power Stupid armor. power armor. Ah! <laughs> Take it. There we go. Okay. That was my four. So now we do support phase. So I go first and uh, kind of pile in here. Um, so we will go one, two, like a so. And then... These sluggas are going to come over here like that. Um, I think that's all I, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I can't move through units. So we're going to go one, two, three, up like that. So I move these guys, move these guys, and move those guys. These guys are, yeah, these guys I think are gonna go, that hurt. <laughs> One, two, three. And these guys are gonna go, mm, me too. And that's it. They're not moving. Uh, they did. They came over this. Oh, way. that's right. Well, how did they get through? Uh, that's a good question. No, no, no. It, they, they had, they could move in, but they had to stop. Oh, no, they, they were already here. Yeah, they were already here. Yeah. So I was, yep. I just moved out. All right. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, <coughs> and one, two. Sue Park, you are correct. The drop zone is a, is a good opportunity to test the game, see if you like it, and then uh, find an interested opponent. That is true. Um, so, yes, you are correct. It's one of the things I liked about it. Uh, da -da. Okay. So um, now these come off. And I believe I can remove one suppression marker during the supply phase. I believe so, yes. Um, so that's going to come off as well. Yeah, that's the... Then we draw up to our hand limit. I'm actually going to discard one to draw one. Hmm. Nice. All right, now we are in round three. Ultramarines have the <coughs> initiative. What's she going to do? Oh, he came all the way over here. Ooh, the melter gun. Uh, let's see here. We call that the orc melter. <laughs> 
It's an orculator. Yes. We're going to go to the, Let's see here. To the janitorium. <laughs> um, Find all the janitors. <laughs> uh, we're going to go here. And then... Did he lose a bunch of stuff? No. Oh. <laughs> Just that he has armor piercing. Oh, he does now. So you shouldn't have been. No, he already did. You shouldn't oh. have had those armor saves earlier, but. Ah. Uh. But it's no big deal. It's nothing. Do that. And. One of the cool things about Heroes of Normandy, I'm pretty sure the core set will be the same thing, is that um, you also have bluff. Yes, it did talk about the bluff tokens. Yeah, you also have bluff tokens, so uh, that's a cool thing because you won't know exactly what units are going to be activated. You just have an, uh, an idea of which ones. Um, and then this guy is going to go here. All right. <clears throat> All right, you have initiative, so you're number one. Play at the end of the orders phase. Remove an order token from an enemy unit without revealing it. That's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice at all. Do you have any orders cards you would like to play? Because um, I missed that one last time. Let's see. I think I stay put. <laughs> and I don't remember who I activated first now. Okay. Uh, oh, I melt again. <coughs> right. I'm gonna melt us some orcs. <laughs> um, the melt -a gun is on my radar. We are gonna go boop. Kabuki, there will be more Memoir 44 tomorrow. Um, I don't know if you're asking about next week. I believe there will be, yeah. Um, but it, it just depends on because that's the week before a convention, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see. The only cube that I believe has theme is the one that's inside room uh, 21 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you threw another grenade at me. Will you stop throwing <laughs> grenades at the poor orcs? All right, so you want to go around the horn this way? Uh, let's start with this guy first. Okay. So, so I get plus, plus five. Two. What? Or plus, yeah, plus five. Plus three? Yep. Plus two. Plus four. Yep. That's that. Big shooters are dead shooters. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, we'll go with this guy. Okay. Three, definitely. And the other shooters. What was that? I got five, six, seven. Yeah. Man, those grenades are devastating for orcs. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And he did not move, so. Well, you move or fire. Yes. Yeah. All right, so my number one. And, um, play during the activation phase. Uh, actually, hang on, let me play this one. Play during the activation phase, remove an activated marker or an order token mm -hmm. from one of your units. It can act again with the aid of a card, special ability, or move during the supply phase. Okay. Alrighty. They come and get you. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. They're Marines. What? They're Space Marines. Is it like. I guess. To boldly go in Semper Fi? I don't know. <laughs> All right, my number one is over here, Sluggas. Uh -huh. We are going to initiate That's a... That's I thought was number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to initiate a... Uh, melee. Melee against... Um, Sergeant Solomus. Oh, they're both. Oops, I'm sorry. Right, uh, he's going next. Plus two. Oh, that's what I was trying to see is plus two, so it's plus three. I have plus four. And he is plus two. Uh, he is also plus four. So I'll, I'll go after uh, Solonis. I have a better chance of killing him. Well, he's only plus three, plus four. So. 
Huh? One di it's one off. Yeah, I know. Yep. Uh, but I have a I have a plus four, so it's even oh. here. I have an upper hand on this one. So, um, uh -oh. we're going to. I'm going to try to make this definite. So I'm going to use it for the plus one on attack. You can use it for this or this down Play here. Play this card to alter the reroll or make someone reroll <coughs> more dice. But I can use it for this or for this down here. Oh. Oh, is that what that does? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, plus one movement. Ah, mm -hmm. interesting. Okay. All right, so. You're adding, you're not making me reroll then? No, I'm going to just add one. So that gives me a five, plus five to your plus three. Oh, okay. And I get two dice, so. One. Snake eye. Yeah. Hopefully not. Or guys. Oh. Aww. Or box cars. <laughs> what would you like? I Which one should I choose? Should I get a six as well then? Is that what it is? Um, I need a six? Right, let's yeah. see. I have five plus six. That is 11. And you have two, three, so you can't win. But you, A for effort. Good job. <laughs> he takes out. He's dead. And that also takes out one of your activation tokens because of his star. Yep. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, it does. Um, no more stars. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I guess put it on there. And then we're going to... We're going to play ready, ready to remove this. Ah, just like so, I did. Yep. You're up. All right. Uh, well, go ahead because you killed my number two. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. Um, where is my number two? Oh yeah, my number two got taken off. Oh. So you're up. <laughs> Alright, number three. Um, let's do this one. And we're gonna assault you. Alright. So I have uh, plus four, you have plus four. But you get the extra die and I only get one. So that's nine. So I've got to roll a six. What happens in a tie? Defender wins. Ooh. Uh, defender, the player who obtains the highest result wins the assault. So I guess it's just a stalemate if it's a tie. I think so. I'm going to roll a six right here anyway, so. <laughs> Don't you worry your pretty little head. <laughs> Well, I, I kind of did. It's, yes, it's, it's it landed on the six side. Yeah, facing the table, yeah. <laughs> All right, so he gets an armor save, though, of five plus. He does? He yeah. Does? <laughs> 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 and my All boss. All right. Yes. That's what I need to kill. Alive and kicking. What you want to kill? Uh, let's see. Oh, you didn't see that. All right, so my three is over here. This is my sluggas. And um, we it's a four, three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How's that heavy bolter? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. We would be more than happy to exchange words with you. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Um, we're going to go back here. Oh, come back. We're going to go back here, and uh, we's going to... Um, That's a four as well. I know. <laughs> It's it's a bunch of bunch of nothing. All right, we're gonna attack <coughs> the. Um, nah, we gotta attack the heavy bolter. It's four to three either way, and they're more mm, nasty. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've got plus three. Let's 
six. Oh. And it's six to six, isn't it? Yes. And so again, I think that we cross swords. It doesn't say anything. Yeah. It does not. No. Uh, Symbolize the angle of the assault. Place the attacking counter partly on top. Um, support. Allies of the attacking unit that are in the ZOC. I don't know. Zone of control. Yeah, zone of control. Of the defending unit may provide a bonus to the assault mm. in order to support the all assault unit. Must have the assault special ability, not be activated yet, have no suppressed markers. This bonus is called a support bonus and it's plus one to the attacker's desired result. If you decide to have your unit provide support, oh. you can activate it. See, I should have done this then. Because he's in your zone of control. Yes, but then he wouldn't be able to activate. Right. But I would be flipping that yeah. guy right now. But anyway, uh, so it's just a tie. Yep. Nothing happens. Cross swords. All right, you're up. You're four. I oh, you don't have a four. I do you not have a four. <laughs> I, don't even have a, I don't even have a three anymore, technically. After this turn. I think in this case he can be a support, right? Because he has zone of control. Right. Uh, this is the guy I'm attacking. This. Well, I think. Uh, I'm this not, is. What is a zone of control? That's the problem. The ZOC is is all the all of the squares around that person. Ah, uh, okay. An enemy unit can try to move through. Okay. So actually, you know what? Well, it, no, it's. Allies of the attacking <sighs> unit, they're in the zone of control of the defending unit. Okay. Right. So he's attacking, he's going to support. Yep. So that'll give me a plus one. Yes. Uh, so that will be a plus four to your plus four. But I get two dice, you only get one. Ooh. Oh. So that is eight to your nine. <laughs> Hoop. Poopity poop poop. Oh, uh, this is flipped over, by the way. Um, yep. The Lion of Macrage. It's Macrag, but okay. Yeah, you're a Macrag. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so now we just go to support. Yep. Uh, activate first. Let's move that guy there. We'll move that guy there. And we'll move that guy there. Hmm. Do the hustle. Well, so here's the thing. When we enter a zone of control here, we can't keep moving here because that would be moving through, so we have to stop there. Oh. Yeah, you, I don't think you could have come across. Oh, we had to stop here, huh? Yeah, I think so. Well, actually, the same for these guys. Right. Well, no, I could move into this one, and he can move into that one, but I have to stop. You're saying? So um, he would have to stop there, he would have to stop there, he would have had to stop here. Yeah. Because I can't move into there. Mm -hmm. Actually, technically, I can move into here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, because it's all squares, right? Yes. Well, then you know what? He's going to move. Oh, no, he can't move here either. Well, actually, he can move one. No, oh, he can't cross there. Yep, he's going to stay right there. One, two, three, over there. <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> um, man, those shooters are just doing nothing. That's it. All right. So all these guys come off. Boop. 
Uh, you should have minus one token, yep. right? Um, I got to draw two cards. Okay, um, so we flip that over. Yeah, I couldn't find any numbered dice for the orcs because I know it's hard for them to calculate <laughs> pips. Wow. How long were you thinking about that? <laughs> Since I was picking up Yeah, the dice. I'm sure. <laughs> what number dis? Huh? Um. Space Marines, we were just going to get hash marks of how many orcs we killed. <laughs> And then go that. All right. Um, before play before activating one of your own units. So we're done with the order phase. You want to do any order phase cards? I have no order phase cards. All right. I have initiative in the uh, activating. So I'm going to play this. Two units situated two spaces or less from one of your officers, so these two guys here, mm -hmm. can immediately move two spaces. If they have order tokens, they can still act in the future. Okay. So. Uh, no. No. Okay. Fine. <laughs> fine. 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 <coughs> Letting you read it off. Work. The work. Work. <laughs> All right. So here we go. My number one. Yes. It's this guy right here, and uh, he is going to launch an assault on this guy right here. Mm -hmm. um, which gives him a plus two. So that's going to be two, three, four, five. All right. Plus whatever you roll. Which, oh my goodness. <laughs> a whopping seven. And I need a three or better? Yeah. Two or better? Yeah. Five defense? Um, Yes. No, I'm at a plus you one. You need a three. And you didn't get it. You have... Uh, armor save. You have two, five, six to my seven, yeah. So... Flip it. There we go. Uh, that was your one. Mm-hmm. What do you want to kill? Mm -hmm. All right, pips are numbers. I tend, I tend to prefer pips when the game is all D6s. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't mind numbers, though. Numbers are, numbers are fine. But uh, it is true. I mean, you know, Space Marines aren't, aren't that bright. Mm -hmm. um, I can cross into here, right? Um, I don't think so because of that zone of control. That would be moving through zone of control. Yeah, but then I have to stop. That's what I'm saying. I can, I can move there and stop. No, you, you can't move through zone of control. You can move into or out of, but not through. Well, it says the orc unit moves into the zone of control with movement one. It can launch an assault, so I can move into. If you are outside of my zone of control, yes. But since you're already in my zone of control... No, nope. enemy zone of controls do not prevent your unit from moving into a square occupied by the target of the assault. So if I'm assaulting this guy. Right, but he's here as well. Yeah. That's Enem yeah, enemy zone of controls do not prevent your unit from moving into a z square occupied by the target of the assault. Right, so if you were outside 
-hmm. of a zone of control. If you weren't in any zone of control, then you I would not be able to, you. you would not be stopped from entering a zone of control. But you're already in somebody else's, you're, you're kind of engaged in combat. Mm. I think that's how it's supposed to be interpreted. Let me see the book real quick. Because I think the... I was just the, looking at the zone yeah, of control. Yeah, the movement... Um, um, go to page six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that will determine whether or not I'm going to run and hide or have to stand and fight. <laughs> and there's no way to heal them, so. Yeah. Um... Two units can occupy the same hex. Um, attack type, firing actions. Um, where was, where was that other part? It was here. This is the one I was looking at. Okay, so. Okay, an infantry unit can move into or out of an enemy ZOC, but cannot move through one. So a unit can try to move through an enemy ZOC to enter the square occupied by an opponent, but only if it has the assault special ability. Okay. Um, where, where, where was it talking about? Um. I don't remember. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere, dude. Mm. What do you What do you want to do? That's That's what I'm. Um. So I want to move him here. Okay. And attack this guy. Right. Assault him. Okay. So page ten. Okay. You must carry out this all the way through when you do that. The assault can be launched from an unoccupied space that is adjacent to the target of the assault. The attacker must follow the normal movements. Uh, if the target enemy ZOCs do not prevent your unit from moving into a square occupied by the target of the assault. Okay, yeah, that to symbolize ongoing assault, the place partly over. Okay. Yeah, see, okay, what that's saying is that. Uh, for example, let's say this guy wasn't here. Mm -hmm. uh, you would be able to move out of his zone of control mm -hmm. and into his zone of control and then start an assault. Gotcha. You'd be able to do that. But because this guy is here, you would, you, would tech, you would literally be moving through his zone of control and into his zone of control. Uh, okay. So because you can never move through a unit's zone of control, that makes it an illegal move. Okay. Um, you can't. You, you can. Ass, you can't assault and then move. I don't believe so. Okay. Um, Just fight. What's wrong with you? All right, we're assaulting that guy then. Um, the bonus only comes in when you're attacking. Yes. Okay. Not when you're defending. No, it's on the very top part of that. Page 10. Support. Allies of the attacking unit, yeah. Yep. Alrighty. I am at a four. I am at a two. Come on, roll me a one. I did. I can't beat that. <laughs> no, you're at, you're at four, nine. I'm at a nine. Yeah, I can't beat that. All right, so he is toast. It's another another shooters. 
All right, you're two. And you actually move in there. Oh, yes, because I take over his spot. Mm-hmm. Um, and my number two is up, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so that is this guy with me sluggers. Take them out, huh? I could try, but that would only give me a plus one. Um, I think, my goodness, I think Kabuki is agreeing with me about ZOC. I no longer like a kabuki. <laughs> um, Sorry. Making fun of my non-painted cardboard stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to go here. All right. Uh, no. Or not. I'm gonna move. Okay, here's 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 another further thing. He, I am in his zone of control. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move out of his and into his. Great. If the enemy unit performs a shoot or a move action, one of your units can shoot at it during its move action. Go for it. We'll make him shoot at you. All right. Uh, one die. It's two. D plus two. Fine, plus four. Can you use two at the same time? I have no idea. don't think so. I'll look it up. I'm using them all. <laughs> well, it's ammo! Up. We need more ammo. That's four, five, six. So it hits. With, mm -hmm. with, but I, use, I spent two if I can't. I have spent one. Um, it looks like... Every I, I've seen two examples so far, and they're only using one. Okay. Um, so it's a five, six, seven. Because there's one here. Oh, gotcha. And then there's there's one here, and they're only using the one. All right. So it's a seven. All right. So it's a seven, and there are four. So. Pfft. Ow. That hurt. All right. So now he's still attacking. Uh, he's going to. Uh, are you assaulting me? <laughs> With an assault, yes. It's an assault, brother. <laughs> All right, so I get two. I got three plus die roll, so I got seven. Eight. Reroll that. <laughs> I hope I get a six. Oh, well, you never know. Ah! Still an eight? Eight. <laughs> oh, well. Isn't that great? Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I take that back. I can't shoot with him. It would have been him because the unit cannot have already activated. Um, however, the same roll still hits. Okay. Plus four. That's fine. All right. Oh, and with that, he gets an activated token. Yeah. Um, these. I think that just killed my sluggers. You're stupid. Oh, yeah, if I hit your... Yeah. He won the assault. He did! Ugh. It's dead, Jim. Who's Jim? <laughs> <coughs> um, so those guys are dead. Um, let's see here. Four shooters. Uh, shooter, shooter. All right, so now it's my two. Slugas. Teeth. Yeah. Um, let's assault this guy. Fine. So you're at four, four. and I'm at three. 
Eight. Uh, gotta roll six. Nope. I am dying all over the place here. <coughs> all right, so my number three now? Yes. Hmm. That's him. We are just going to... Oh my goodness gracious. Man, I just don't... The orcs is a weak. Yeah, these aren't no mortal horses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's a space or actually be a negative two if I was to do that, which means that I would be a negative one to my die roll, which means that I wouldn't be able to hit him. <laughs> so the only chance I have is to assault. Oh. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Still not in zone of control. Now I'm in zone of control. And I have to stop here because of that. Mm -hmm. So it's two dice. And I've got plus three. Oh, finally get one. Oh, it's an eight. Come on. Poop. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with you? <laughs> All right. Lion base. So... No, <laughs> he is going to attack. Oh, bring it! And um, the lion of McCrag wants a piece. I could actually kill him, and that would actually take one of my counters away if I attack with him. Because once all three of these units are gone, you lose that star. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Bring that guy over here. I'm gonna. Uh -oh. I don't care, because Weasel Orcs. He's gonna die this time. <laughs> Weasel Orcs. Weasel Orcs. All right. As much as um, I want to believe in the line <clears throat> of my crag, it's... Uh... Uh, let's see. And that will be uh, plus three. So... A six. Oh, my goodness. You have rolled four every <laughs> single time. <laughs> so this goes away. And I think that's it. All right. Uh, you activate first. That's your uh, your activation. Yeah. Just don't forget to activate. Oh, activates. this this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. All around bad. <laughs> uh, that was really bad. As I, was, I had actually debated on throwing a grenade here. Really? Yeah. Even though <laughs> I guess your own guys. <laughs> wow. The melted guns, they don't really like the tacticals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, I've really worked myself into a corner here. Um, I think I'm stuck on both of these guys unless I want to disengage. Oh, which is back up, back up basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because you're in, you won't be able to. What? What? <laughs> Tactical squad, hold it down. Well, now we took the one off of, or the two off of him. No, you did. Mm -hmm. You removed my thing. So, ah, uh, um. I did not need him activating this turn. Okay. That's true. I don't care. I don't care. Quiet, Kabuki. I brought these from home. One, two, over here. Oh, where are you going? And one, two, over here. All right. Um. <coughs> this guy's just going to come over here. When you were reading, you say you can move through units, but you can't stop on them. 
Yeah, there can only be one one thing per space. One, two. You can move through friendlies, but not enemies. Oh yeah. That's it. All right. So this comes off. <sighs> Ultramarines get the initiative again. We draw up to two. Now we go to order phase. Order phase! Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Bless you. Thank you. You're up. I'm up. Play before activating one of your units. Your unit can shoot or use a psychic power before, during, or after its movement, even if its action ends in an assault. Ignore the penalty caused by the fire unmoved special ability. I can't move here, right? You can. Oh, because I just... You just have to move and stop. Uh, okay. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Well, while you're moving. <laughs> opportunistic fire. <laughs> Where are you going? Now, you, if you activate him, you won't be able to... Oh, I'm not activating him. Yeah, you're activating him. But you have plus two defense, though. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have an eight defense in there. Do you not want to use that? It's a waste. I can't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Right, so good. he's going to attack that guy. Go ahead. With plus two. Yeah, it's just plus two. Yep. Well, technically he moved. Yes. N now he. But. Oh, no. Ignore the penalty caused by gotcha. the firearm move special ability. Good, good, good. Yep. So. Go for it. Four. That's <sighs> exactly what you needed to make me roll. <laughs> One, one. Nope. Not this time. Thank you, Kabuki. Not this time. Meat's back on the menu. Yeah, really. <laughs> and that. Well, now you get to activate your guy. Oh, that that was. I'm sorry. That was. No, no. That was before activating. I should have flipped that. That's oh, my okay, bad. Okay. Okay. So he was one. I do, find Go ahead. It, I do find it interesting that you just took out my one. Same exact cards. Well, it's yeah. it's a demo kit. All right, so. Um, <laughs> here's the thing: is like, now that I realize that you have the same cards, mm -hmm. I'm afraid to do what I was planning on doing <laughs> to you. Um, Yeah, that's fine. He's going to shoot this guy. Okay. Who is? Him. Mm. <clears throat> yes. I'm going to use that and shoot before you shoot. So, um, he has a plus one. So, I need to roll a four or better. This one? Yeah. Of course not. All right, you're up. Oh. Uh, that's not a hit, because I have plus two defense. Oh, you do. I missed that. I have four or five. All right, that yeah. was your two. So my two over here is going to take a shot at your guy here. So, actually, I need a five, don't I? So I'm going to use the ammo token. So 
so now I need a four. <laughs> and it was a three. No, it was close. Yeah, uh, so much close. But um, we're going to use an, horseshoes and hand grenades. We're going to use another. Which you haven't used yours. I'm going to use another. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I can throw it here anyway. No, oh, you what? can. And you also have no move and shoot. All right. And it's two range. Well, it would be one, two. I could get that guy. One, two, yeah. All right, well, this guy's going to shoot here. Mm -hmm. And we used another ammo token, so it's got to be a four. Of course not. All right, so that's the end of that. And um, so we don't have any other things to activate except for him. And this comes off, and these come off. All right, so I don't have that anymore. I just have these. Mm-hmm. Orcs is going first. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool game. You're right, Bones and Banners. <coughs> I, All right. I like it. I would like more. Like I like this. It's enough to whet someone's appetite. Yeah. Because now I want more. Right. I'll do that and then we're gonna do that all right so now we are in the activation phase and I'm gonna activate my one which is this guy and burst into action <laughs> uh -oh. which I think you played it wrong because it says your unit can shoot or use a psychic power before, during, or after its movement, even if its action ends in an assault. Yes. So I didn't do an assault. You didn't do an assault. Yeah, that's why. But uh, I, however... I'm going. We're going to shoot before we move, and then we're going to assault if we don't kill you. <laughs> Just saying. If you don't die, you mean. <clears throat> huh? If you don't die. In this assault. No, I'm not going to die in no assault. All right, so you're shooting at him first, is what you're doing. Which is an eight. Oh, see, that's the thing. <laughs> Good night. That's the least. See, I, I, I wish we had one of those things. Like, in MMR44, if you're in the same kind of terrain, is bonuses it, negate. And that's how I feel it should be. Yeah. But game rules. Right, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, We're both in the trenches. We're sitting in the cover, rolling through the AC vents, diehard style. <laughs> <laughs> um, Best Christmas movie ever. You know what? I'm going to do an alternative. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to chuck a grenade right here. You're chucking a grenade at me. <clears throat> I am. Why would you do that? Um... Because it ain't worked yet. So maybe it will now. Play when your opponent launches a grenade. If one of your infantry You're units injured. is in one of the spaces adjacent to the grenade marker, you can set it, set it back a distance of one interspace from your unit. Yeah. I wonder if I can return to sender your return to yeah, sender. Yeah, I figured you finally picked that card. <laughs> I wonder if that can actually happen. <laughs> uh, your unit must uh, play it, put an activated marker on your unit. Or remove its order token if it hadn't had one. Yep. So, so I'm going to have to remove that. Yeah. Um, can you return to sender the return to sender? That's the thing. If one of your infantry units is one of these spaces, play when your opponent well, launches no, a grenade. Well, no, play when your opponent launches a grenade. Yeah. I didn't launch it. All right. I'm throwing it back at you. Uh, I rolled my die. Five. Jeez. Six, seven to your... Four, five, six. six. Must I put an activated marker here. 
from your unit. Yep. Well, that's that. <laughs> it's like, that's why I was hoping. I was going to throw a grenade earlier, and I was like, I bet you he has that card in his yeah. hand, too. You just picked it. Oh, that's the end. No, I've had it for a couple of rounds. You just haven't chucked grenades. Oh, yeah. I stopped. Because <laughs> I stopped chucking them. Yep. I drew that card. All right, go ahead. Um, no, it's your two. Oh. That should be my one, yeah? Yes. All right. Oh, well. This is a foregone conclusion, really. Yeah, but. I'm going to shoot that guy. Okay. Um, Which guy? Okay. Oh, well, duh. Yeah, why not shoot the guy with the activation marker? But he's got plus defense. Mm -hmm. Six? Yeah. I need a two. Mm, you have three. I need a three. So you would need a three, yeah. Jeez Louise. <coughs> well, that's that. Shooters. I would also take away another activation token. Space parades are victorious. Yeah, they're really tough. Um, we're just going to go call it because I can't. I mean, I still have this guy to move, but yeah. it doesn't do any good. Um, I would have had to have taken him out and move. Yeah, which the, during the supply phase there. is kind of like I didn't realize until after that first supply phase that we move. Yeah. And even though you're, you know, you're say locked in combat or whatnot, you still don't attack. Right. But next turn, it gives you that. It's more yeah. opportunistic, I guess. Yep. All right. So what cards did we not get to here? We got just a graze. Play when one of your infantry units must suffer a hit or be eliminated. Ignore it, but get a suppression marker. Courage. Remove a suppressed marker from one of your starter units from one of your units. And then another burst into action, which we saw. I have all terrain before moving. Uh, play before moving. Your unit ignores the restriction tied to the pass. Yeah, that's cool. Second chance, reroll. You've had that one. So we way. don't have the same cards. We have many of the same cards, but because uh, I don't have that one that you. Uh, yeah, the, the other one that you talked about, I didn't have either. So there's a couple in here that are unique to the Space Marines, and there's mm -hmm. a couple in there that are unique to. Yep. So that is that. Um, uh, that's uh, Heroes of Blackreach. Now, again, this is just a demo kit. So it is a little bit on the skimpy side as far as what you're able to do and all that other kind of stuff. But you, you still kind of get the idea of uh, how the game plays. It's, it's very cool. We, we may have made a couple of rules errors here and there, but generally speaking, I don't think we did, but generally speaking, you get the idea of how the game plays. Yeah, maybe with the whole movement thing, and that was right. my fault. So. But, uh, so that is Heroes of Blackreach. We're going to go ahead and get... Um, Shadespire. Shadespire out, and uh, I I don't have the newest factions that just came out. I have the, um, but I have all of them that that are up to those. As those long as you don't play two. orcs, I'm playing playing this game. No, I think I'm going to play orcs because <laughs> they need some vindication. Gore chosen. Yes, well, probably. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, uh, why don't uh, Vernon? Why don't you entertain the masses here, and then uh, we'll be. Um, I'll be right back. I just got to go get the game. All right. Um, I will slide this stuff off to the side. So if anybody has any questions for me, I guess we'll make it a mini Q&A. Look at that. Of Vernon. So stuff that nobody ever wanted to know. <laughs> huh? As I'm sliding everything off to what? the side. I do no, have the laptop. I'm going to get shades by her. So... There we go. Ouch. Hi, everybody. Oh, I can't type on a Mac. <sighs> mm. <laughs> the only thing I wish I, uh, this game did come with was a few more tokens and stuff, but that's only because I want more units to actually play with. Um, in terms of it being a demo kit, it makes sense to only have what they had, so. And I'm not quite sure where you can buy this. Can you paint more miniatures? Um, I mean, I, I paint miniatures all the time. Right now on my table, I have Vengeance, Vampire Hunters, Mythic Battles is still on my table. Um, the Warhammer stuff, 
that Sam gave me. I need to finish up. I have Scythe, um, Vanguard of War, Vengeance. I have some Blood Rage stuff. I'm painting some Gloomhaven games. Uh, what was the game you maybe loved as a kid? <laughs> um, I actually started out playing like just, uh, those dumb 90s board games. Um, I mean, the ones that stick in my mind are... Uh, oh, this is weird setup. I don't know how to change it. Uh, the ones that stick in my mind are actually Uncle Wiggly and uh, Crossfire. Can you change the camera? Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know you guys had stopped. No, no, it's all good. It's just weird. Everybody sees my hands. I'm a fidgeter. So, what was the first game I painted? Uh, Mansions of Madness, the first edition. Um, and it is not good at all, um, but I still have it um, for posterity's sake. And I've never painted lead minis, but I've eaten a lot of lead paint. <laughs> um, I will be backing the Mythic Battles uh, Ragnarok, because um, I am excited. Obviously, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Um, genre I guess because of blood rage and everything but I really do like that uh, pantheon um, I do and I'm looking forward to hopefully somebody making an Egyptian game that would be interesting to me um, uh -oh. uh, I didn't back Batman for all those wondering um, and the reason why is I am not a Batman fan um, I like the system. The system's great and everything. Um, but I have Conan, so I didn't see a reason backing Batman for one, it being the same system, and two, being I'm not a fan of Batman. If you make a Deadpool game, I'm all in. Oh, look at you. You got fancy stuff. Go fancy stuff. Um, fancy, fancy. <laughs> Shade Spire will be unpainted because it's not my copy. Wow. Help, help. I'm under the bus. <laughs> Uh, I want to buy Imperial Salt, but it's gotten so expensive. Why? I have no idea. I didn't know when Imperial Salt was... Um, as far as I know, it's still in print and everything. Alright, what do you want to play? You want to play Skeletons, Orcs, uh, these Blood God guys. Thank you. Uh, deliberate a little bit there, buddy. <laughs> um, <coughs> so, Imperial Salt, I actually own pretty much everything for that game. Um, and I would say 85% of it is painted. Um, we've done several campaigns at my house uh, of Imperial Assault, and while we were playing the game, I painted, uh, like the weeks before, I, I started painting everything and got everything finished. That is a common occurrence, by the way. Yeah, people actually leave games at my house sometimes, um, and they get painted because I just don't like unpainted minis. Um, well, th that's, yeah, um, <laughs> accidentally painted, um, that happened with a Gears of War game. Uh, Not accidentally, they, I mean, they left it in my house. I painted the heroes for somebody's Gears of War because they left it in my house. And I painted the monsters for Lords of Hellas because they left it at my house. Um, is there anything wrong with Conan? No. Um, there is a rules update. Uh, I would definitely get the rules update the for Conan. The original rule book is Yes, uh, okay. Huge. Well, that is what was wrong with it. However, yeah. they did, for all the backers, send out um, new rule books. Um, and then I know they had a like third or fourth Kickstarter. I forget what it was. It was weird. Um, but for like a hard, a hard Second break. rule book. Uh -oh. Second Kickstarter. Somebody. Oh, really? Dang it. I need some glue. Uh, rules update. I need back Batman. I'm not also the biggest Batman fan. I bet it is fun. My friend is getting it. Yep. Uh, like I said, Kabuki, I mean, as long as you've played... Um, what is that game? As you've, if you've played Conan before, I mean, you've pretty much played Batman. It's, yeah, I mean, there's... For all, for all intents and purposes. Yeah, there's some things that are, you know, different on it and everything, but for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much the same system. Uh, you know... Point allocation for your heroes, point allocation for the overlord of villains. My issue with Bat Batman, though, was the fact that they didn't open it up to the Justice League. And that was Monolith's um, choice because they didn't think that superheroes fit with the same uh, 
style as Batman. So I mean, Superman could literally come and flick Joker like across the room. So that's kind of hard to put into a board game. Drop to die. Yeah, that's right next. Got it. <laughs> um, do I like Song of Ice and Fire from Simon? I. I haven't played that yet. I have not played it. However, I'm not a fan of tactical skirmish push and move games. And that's what I saw it as. I mean, it looked like you could use a, a back of rack uh, <laughs> poker to move along your units and stuff like that. So that's that's the only reason I, did, I didn't back that either. Um, just It didn't appeal to me. And I'm not a huge fan of the book. I didn't read it. So, you know, don't blame me for not liking that game because it's not a bad game it's just I didn't read the books so I'm not a fan of that universe I'm a fan of the TV universe if they had made it on the TV universe I probably would have been more inclined to back it uh, what game I've sunk the most money into uh, probably Mythic uh, Kingdom Death I was gonna say um, Mythic Battles but it's Kingdom Death Monster uh, I own uh, quite a bit of stuff for that game are we good on the screen as far as like the other? Oh, let me see. Uh, did I win any of the painting contests at C1 Expo? I did not. I um, did found. You them? I did. I found that I am not a good speed painter when <laughs> it is not my paints nor my brushes. Uh, that was a huge thing for me. Was I wasn't expecting that, and I actually brought paints and brushes to C1 Expo, as Derek can attest. Yes. I, I, I did bring my own stuff there. Um, does Sam own Time of Legends Joan of Arc? It would be very interesting if he did because it's not out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. Um, but I don't know. I don't believe he backed it. I know he doesn't like backing Kickstarters. How necessary are those tokens? Uh, can you change the stream that? title now? Yes, we will get Derek to change the stream title. However, I do believe if we do that, we have to stop and start uh, again. Well, we, we, I can probably change the Twitch one maybe, but the YouTube one is stuck. Yeah, the YouTube one is stuck, so we're going to have to stick with it. Sorry. Um, yeah, um, Kingdom Death, I backed the latest Kickstarter. Um, so I, I backed that, and I mean, that was quite expensive. Um, actually, maybe Monolith, the Mythic Battles, was about the same, I want to say. Because I went all in on that one. <laughs> so I own everything. Why, are there two sets of these heroes? Yeah, because I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, a friend at uh, Warhammer that uh, at Games Workshop. Oh, uh, okay. That gives me some of the. Oh, just in every once in a while. Oh, they. Oh, it's they just better. different artwork. That's all. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, they're red. Look at that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna use these ones then. The have you seen the Fire Tower Kickstarter? No, I have not. Um, I'll have to check it out. Uh, is it? Um, I would say. No, I won't. I won't say which ones the, the latest ones I backed. Need to move around a little bit. Just because I don't want to give some people uh, credit and others not. It's gonna push everything. I will say there are quite a few Kickstarters that I am I have been keeping tabs on. Uh, uh, always looking. Yes, I'm always looking. I am. Um, just because I, I'm a huge fan of miniatures games. Uh, but I would say that... I, play bad games if it has miniatures in it. I would play a bad game if it had miniatures in it. I mean, I have played a few Bugs. bad games with miniatures in them. Um, and I won't name names because I'm nice. No, you're not. Stop lying to these Slide people. Slide up one more. I don't care. I like that. Okay. Four. You were technically supposed to choose. Oh, okay. So you're taking away my choice, which, you know, that's kind of a jerk move. Unpainted yeah. minis. Yes, I know. For shame. That's oh. the Kabuki kid, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh is it in the way? I, just, I was just getting that out of the shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Actually, I'll put my guys because these <coughs> need to be up here anyways. Now, I do and will need a refresher in this, Sam, because the last time I played, you cheated. Game. So I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you mean by that that I won. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That I did. There's no numbers on these dice, so I can't roll them as well. See your cards, Sam? Um, I guess maybe, but I, I'm going to move them over. 
They're not going to be very legible. No, oh, that's fine. Maybe those familiar with the game can tell by the iconography what you're getting. Yeah. These are all shuffled, not together, though, correct? Correct. Gerzog, <laughs> but you know what? Hello, camera. Yeah. How badly do we want the uh, two shot cam? I mean, this is. If you can angle that one down just a little bit, Derek. Uh, just that one? Yeah. I think that would be. F that by itself would be Where do you want to put the other. Uh, um, we could How did you Floridians deal with the recent tropical storm? I'm not actually a Floridian. I am uh, an Illinoisan. You live in Florida. But I live in Florida. Um, actually, I'm leaving Florida soon. Um, but I didn't notice it too bad, I guess. A lot I of mean, rain for us, but most yeah. of the... But, I mean, it's been raining for the last yeah. two and a half, three weeks. So, I mean, it just rained harder, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I know that North Florida got lots of wind. Yeah, well, I was in uh, Orlando on Friday, and it wasn't too bad at Orla um I was at Universal. It was like the Gulf. Oh, north, north. Of, okay. The, so, southern Alabama and southern Mississippi, you mean? Yeah. And southern, southern Georgia. <laughs> yeah, people people call it that. Isn't it? It's, they do, it's yeah. It's, no, it's not Florida. Alabama. Yeah. Panhandle. Yes. Yeah, I will be leaving Florida in September and moving on to... Alabama, hmm. middle Alabama, not not southern Alabama. What, what air base? Uh, I will be going to Maxwell Air Force Base in Montgomery, Alabama. Yep. Dad, my dad used to be stationed there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I am looking forward to it. No, I'm not. There's yeah. Five right, years. Let's try this. Looks Ooh, good. Miss Brady. So, there we go. Audio wasn't muted. It was uh, all of the mics left the room. <laughs> um, and I didn't have mine turned on because I left the room earlier. So that's what happened, I think. All righty. Oh. What? I think it was because all of the hot mics left the room and mine wasn't turned on because I turned it off when I left the room earlier. So I was just sitting in a quiet room. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get... I gotta say, Sam, that was a fantastic rendition of Oklahoma. I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is that. Um, put these over here. These are going to have to go out in a little bit. What is it you're actually playing now? It's called Warhammer Underworlds Shade Spire. So it fits in with the uh, Warhammer community. Are you stuck? No. Groups that. Yeah. You lost my sound. 
Unless your mic's still off. No, so. my, mine, mine oh, was off, was. yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's what they were talking about. Bone cutter. Basher. Hacker. Yes, there was no flavor on our existence. We were on a different plane. Oh, wow. You're so witty. <laughs> uh, Universal... I don't know if it was more expensive. I got a discounted ticket with through the military, um, so I don't know what the normal. You and your military like. discounts. Yeah, right. We get paid so much. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not. Oh, in case anybody is wondering, yes, I still am in the military. Yes. Even though I have a wonderful beard and super luxurious locks. <laughs> I've just been no. off for a little while. My kids got off. Not quite. Uh, school last Friday, and so they're with me today. Actually, they're in the other room, mm -hmm. being quiet, duct taped to a chair. <laughs> they're not duct taped to a chair. Yeah, they're we would not allow that to happen. <laughs> what Vernon does at home is one thing, but <laughs> we won't allow him to do it here. You're very anxious to get on screen, and I'm like, no, no, just one more game. Don't worry, we'll get you over here. Uh, yeah. Well, the old, the, well, the youngest actually more than the oldest. Mm -hmm. They were just anxious to get on the Wi-Fi. Oh, <laughs> oh, you let them on the Wi-Fi? No. Yes, we did. They're gonna be buying things. All right. First thing that we're going to be doing, we're about ready to start now. Sure. First thing we do is uh, we're going to be placing uh, objective tokens. We, we roll three dice, and the most uh, critical the same, hits. Right? Yeah, the most critical hits is what we are looking for. So I have one, and you have none. So uh, I will allow you to place first. What are critical? The yeah. exclamation marks. Ah, okay. These things. Are these all the same? Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to look at them. Oh. <laughs> These are objective tokens that are, are going to be placed throughout the course of the <laughs> of the board. And, uh, and they're <laughs> on these spots, right? Correct. Okay. We're not, no, 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 no. no. These are the deployment zones for your, your troops. Mm. They can be placed anywhere except those places and except on the edge places uh, down here. Halves. <laughs> Halves, correct. Um, uh, and I, I, I don't believe they can be placed in no man's land here. Let me... Well, that's fine. I'll place one. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, just a couple of things. These are... That's an impassable area. Mm-hmm. Impassable here. Impassable here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Impassable here. Yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. You're not supposed to look at them. No, I'm not. I automatically just flip. <laughs> I just have that thing where if I'm if I'm placing a tile, I flip it over. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reshuffle, and I'm going to still place it right here. Go I ahead. I think you should play hard mode Carcassonne. <laughs> <laughs> where you don't flip the tile over? Yeah, you don't flip them over. <clears throat> they have to be two, at least two away from another yeah. as well. So that, that would be fine. <laughs> and then this. You then you gotta place your meeple on the one that you want to score points, and hopefully <laughs> when you flip them all over, it's <laughs> somebody right now is making a Kickstarter. Yes, uh, I'm gonna place this here. I hate to say, it, but I think I've actually played a game like that. Go ahead. A hard mode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, like you basically put tiles face down and bid on them, and then hope that you. Has to be two away from another. There you go. Now we flip them over. All right, so some of your objective cards are going to say hold, Number objective, one. whatever, yep. and that's how you're going to score points for it. All right, <clears throat> so now we uh, draw cards. Um, you draw, uh, I believe it's three and five. Yes, three and five. So you have three objective cards and five power cards. Your kids like board games. If I would have let them in here, they would have been playing this game instead of me. <laughs> so yes, they love board games. Yeah. My youngest loves painting, <coughs> and my oldest loves playing strategy games. Okay, so the objective cards, 
they are simply read the read the card and and when it says you can score it that's when you score it um, given the given that you meet the condition the power cards there are two different kinds of power cards there are ploy cards which have a um, uh, sword icon in the upper left hand corner and then there are also um, <coughs> excuse me there are also um, upgrade cards which have a little cog symbol mm -hmm. up in the upper left hand corner uh, cogs uh, the upgrade cards you have to use victory points to in order to play them but it doesn't lessen the number of victory points that you have okay. so if you have two victory points and you you want to play two upgrade cards you would just simply flip them over there's still two points for you at the end of the uh, game okay but uh you you have to uh, use the victory points in order to do that um ploy cards can be played um during your power phase uh the way the game is going to go is that i will well whoever gets initiative will have first activation which means they can activate one of their people on the board and then after that their power phase will happen which means that they'll be able to play a power card from their hand if they wish they can pass but if they do pass you'll have the opportunity the other person will have the opportunity to play a power card from their hand if both people passes power power phase is over and we go to the next person's activation okay uh, one of the nuances about the game is that um, some of the ploy cards say like for example on the next activation attack activation or on the next activation <clears throat> so if you're playing a card that says that you're going to want to play it on my power phase because the next activation will be yours okay unless it's a defensive card which means that on my next attack it's going to help you out so that's the only real kind of strange thing about about the power cards is that you have to play them at the right time so that they activate at the right time. All right. So you're saying defense ones I should play on my turn, attack ones I should play on your turn. Correct. Okay. More often than not, there might be some strange uh, oddity that I'm missing that or I'm forgetting right now, but okay. more often than not, yes. Um, uh, we're about to place our fighters, but before, but before we do that, let's go over the things that you can do on your turn. Um, in your action phase, you can move, you can attack, uh, you can move and attack, which is called a charge. Um, if you move, then um, you simply place this token on them, signifying that they have moved. They cannot move again this round. Mm-hmm. If you move and attack, you'll place this on them, which means that they cannot move or attack for the remainder of the round. But if you just move, they can't move anymore, but they can attack as much as, you're, as they're able Okay. on future activations. Uh, granted, we only have four activations for a round. Um, one of the, another thing that you can do is you can put somebody in a, basically overwatch mode, mm -hmm. uh, which means that they get an, they get an automatic success on defense. Okay. doesn't matter which one it is. Uh, some of your characters are going to be rolling for shields. Some of them are going to be rolling for this. This token just gives them one automatic success on a defensive roll. Um, line of sight is normal uh, from one c uh, center of one hex to another. Uh, if it passes through this impassable terrain, then uh, you, you miss line of sight. These objectives do not block line of sight or anything like that okay um and uh, uh i said this blocks line of sight and it's impassable mm -hmm. okay um the other things are that you can do uh you can discard cards uh, let me see where it is so i don't uh tell you wrongly um As an action, you can um, uh, discard. Oh, where is it? Mm, okay, you can make a move action, make a charge action, go on guard, uh, make an action printed on a fighter card or upgrade. So, um, some of these cards will will have some of these activations. Let me see if I can find one. 
no, I don't have them, but some of the upgrades will be actions that you can carry out. Okay. All right, so, and then you would just follow whatever the card says. Another thing is, is that uh, you can draw a power card from the top of your power deck. Uh, you can discard an objective card and draw an objective card from the top of your deck, or you can pass and do nothing. So all of those things, moving, uh, attacking, charging, uh, going on guard or overwatch, uh, making an attack action that's printed on one of these guys or one of your uh, upgrade cards, or drawing a power card from the top of your power deck, or discarding one objective and redrawing one. Okay. Those are all the different actions you can do during your phase. Um, you can only do one of them. Yeah, well, you're going to have four activations in one round. The game is played over three rounds. Well, I mean, this. How do? I, how does this do an activation token? You just flip it over, I guess. Yes. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and roll for initiative to see who places their player. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't have any. Neither do you. Roll again. One. Nothing. Um, I'll let you place first. Man, if these were painted, I could tell who they were. Oh, shut up. They do have those those little icons up in the top uh -huh. of the thing. So, I'm sorry. I'm making your brain work. All right, go ahead. See, I already have mine set on the cards. Oh, okay, is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, something like that. Uh, we'll go here. No, here. Go ahead. All right, so that's that. Now we roll for initiative once more to see who goes first. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Two. One. Um, I'll let you go first. All right, so you need to look at your objective cards to see what you're wanting to do. Your turn. Okay, what did you do? Oh, you discarded and, and, and drew a new one? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's one of your activations, all right. Uh, all right, now it's on your power phase, so now you can play one of your ploy cards um, if you wish. Are you gonna play What are these? Those are wounds. Oh. What's a shard fall? What's that? A shard fall token? Um, I'm apo I apologize. Let me see the card. Okay. That is... Oh, one of those over there. Shard fall. So you're playing that card? Yes, I am. Okay. All right, so what does it do? Place a shard full token in an unoccupied hex. That hex is blocked until the end of the phase. All right. Even the best laid plans can fall to ruin. Interesting. All right, so now I can play a play card if I wish. No. Uh, no. No. So I'm not playing anything. You can play another if you want. Yep. Okay. So now it's my activation. And um, hmm. We'll 
go ahead and uh, activate Basha, and he gets three movements. One, two, three. You remember what all these icons do? Mm-hmm. Okay. This, this means that uh, he, his attacks are only melee attacks. He's going to roll two dice looking for hammers, and if he has a successful hit, he's going to score three damage. He moves three, has, rolls one defense die looking for shields, and he also has five hit points. This is their, um, uh, what is it called, the inspired trigger. Mm -hmm. So whenever, like all of my guys, if they suffer damage, they become inspired, which means they just become a little bit more Angry. tough. Tough, yeah. And then all of yours are the same. Uh, at least three fighters are out of action. And they all become inspired. Yeah. All right. Um. <coughs> And I think that's on, that's cumulative. So if like one of mine and two of yours are out, the rest of yours become. Mm. One, two. That's, that's impassable. Oh, that's impassable. One, two, three. Um, I don't know if you can move through. They cannot move through occupied hexes. Even friendly? Right. One, two, three. All right. Correct. All right. I am going to... I'm going to discard this and draw this. That was my second. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, you put this in the bottom? Well, I'm just for space. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um. Vernon has kids? Are they painted? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, uh we're gonna go one, two. Well, you're not, uh, you're not really uh, going after the whole... Did you just move again? Huh? So who'd you just move again? I didn't move anybody. I did a... Oh, you did that. Discard and draw. Um, power phase? Oh, go ahead. I'm not going to play anything. Man, got to get some... Uh, How fast does your leader move? Four. Four. It'll move four. Hmm. All right, Robert, guys, take this fool down, Sam. Robert. Man, he's hostile, man. Right? Man. Yeah. He gave it. He gave it. He's he, an angry little he, elf. He gave us. He gave us five bucks just to say that. <laughs> that ain't right. That ain't right. Um. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Uh, da da da. They can all move four, huh? That ain't right. Oh, you guys all move three? Yeah. This is a short, stubby orc legs. That's pretty much it, yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead and flip over another token here. And we're going to... Uh, one, two, three. Go ahead. Wait a minute. 
One, two, three, there. Don't worry, I'll add your tokens for you. I appreciate so that. You don't forget. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Trying to sneak around the backs. Power step? Anything? Nope. Nah, me neither. Um, this has been really a kind of a non-first round, which is really strange because you're usually like gung ho attack, mm. and you're not doing that right now. So, yes. like I've played this game before. <laughs> I see you've played uh, knifey spooning before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my last activation. And uh, we're just going to put, just in case you've got something up your sleeve, uh, I'm going to put him on guard. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, that's the end. Power cards? Nope. All right. Um, all right. So now we go to. I always have to look at the end phase here. All right. So end phase. First of all, we score any objectives. Do you have any objectives that you can score? Nope. I do not have any either. Now we can discard unwanted objectives. So you can look at your objective cards and discard any that you don't want. Um. I'm going to discard this one. Discard now, uh, don't don't draw up yet, though. Now we can play any upgrade cards, but we can't because we don't have any points to play them. Uh, and now we can discard unwanted power cards. Such good cards. Um, I'm not going to discard anything. Uh, now we can uh, uh, draw objective cards and objective and power cards to a hand of three and five, respectively. All of these tokens come off. And roll for initiative. Got one. All right. I don't think they're on my die. <coughs> they are. Nope. Um, I will allow you to go first again. We need to go Flip first. Flip all these back over again. This is totally against your normal. My archetype. Yeah, your 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 normal uh, method of operations here. <laughs> Throwing a wrench in your plate. You are. <laughs> you are. You're usually like running up headlong into battle. All right, your power step. You gonna play anything? So this would be defense ones that I would want to play. Possibly, yes. Well, 
Well, because it would say <coughs> all defense active uh, actions in the next activation would have blank instead of blank. Why do I only have two? I forgot to draw it. Right. That's correct. What's it would that? say all defense actions in the next activation would yeah, happen. Yeah, right. Okay. Nope. Well, it would say something like that. It would it would be clearly a defensive card. Okay. Nope. Your turn. Um, okay. Uh, Brian it. All right, we're going to uh, activate. <coughs> and I'm going to charge. Uh oh, he gets that, right? Yes. And I can attack multiple times. I can attack three times if I wish. Right. Woo! Baller! Well, you know what? I'm going to go here instead. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and attack. So that is Bone Cutter. And uh, he gets two dice. And uh, he may, s he, if he is successful, then he will cause two damage. And I just get one, right? Right. And I'm looking, okay, I got one critical, which counts as a hit. Now, what you have to do to defend against that is you have to get at least swoop. one swoop or a uh, critical. Or a critical. Yeah, that's a mess. So I take two, two, da wounds. two damage, yeah. And that is on blood sake. All right, and my power step. Go ahead. All right. Um, is it my power step? Or I it's my power step. Okay. I'm passing. Okay. So it's. Now you have the chance to play a card in... That's what I have. Yeah. All right, so all attack actions in the next activation have the <coughs> cross swords characteristic, even if they would normally have the axe. Okay. Or hammer. And he's going to return the favor. Okay. So I get two die? That's correct. Uh, what? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> don't roll the black dice. Those are defense dice. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why the attack characteristics are white. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I should have let you keep it. There you go. You got one hit. All right, so I get uh, one. Uh, you're attacking Bone Cutter. Mm -hmm. So I get one, and I'm looking for shields. And it's a crit, so it automatically... Did, uh, Automatically, um, yep, wins blocks your power step. My power <coughs> step is Blood Rage that much better than Rising Sun to me, or is your Viking theme bias the thing that really sets them apart? No, it's well, not just it's not just the Viking theme. It, it's also the gameplay. Um, I like okay. the the combat in Blood Rage slightly better than the combat in Rising Sun. Not that I dislike it in Rising Sun. It's just it's it's more convoluted, and it, it uh, has in my in my experience it has uh, uh, brought up some 
some more opportunity for analysis paralysis. What's that, Rising Sun? Yeah, yeah the, the battle, the battling in I'm, Rising Sun. I'm with I'm with you on that one. I prefer Blood Rage over Rising Sun only because I am not a fan of the diplomatic solution to an outcome mm. in a battle. Yeah, I prefer to destroy my enemy. Yeah, because we can really see that. <laughs> uh, was that my? That was yours. That was mine. Did you play anything in your power step? Nope. I didn't either, so now I'm moving on to my second activation. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, you are playing a card. Yes, I am. I'm going to play this one right here. Dual strike. One fighter supporting the first attack action and the next activation is considered to be two supporting fighters. Now, the reason that's important is because these little guys here, right? So right now... If I had only one supporting fighter, I'd only be wanting to get these. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be the only one helping. But since my guy is going to have two supporting fighters, both of these are going to be gonna possibles. Yeah. Yep. All right, so that's dual strike. Are you going to play anything else? Nope. All right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and activate now. And uh, let's see here. We're going to go... One, two, like that, and that is a charge action as well. And uh, we're going to attack. That is Gerzog, so he's going to get two dice and possibly scoring three damage. And um, I have a lot of different faces that could possibly. All right, so two that's hits. a hit and a critical which means that you would need to roll a at least I'm only rolling one die. Yeah, you would need to roll a crit. Um no because this would still be out there. I don't think you can block that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was just that was just a good roll. All right, so he's out. And that does get me a victory point for right. knocking one of your dudes out. And then in my power step, um, we're going to I'm going to play. Um, I'll flip this over and give. Um, Going to give. I'm going to move some of my cards around here. I'm going to give uh, Basha. No. Hacka. Yeah, we're going to give him Brutal Frenzy, which means that he rolls an extra attack dice. All right. When he makes a charge action. You're up. Uh, my power step, you have your, your chance to play cards. I have not played the Imperial Assault app yet. Oh, crap. I should have played this as a reaction card. I keep reading this as if they were mine. Okay. Play this after an attack action or ploy that takes a fighter out of action. Mm -hmm. So that was you. A friendly fighter can make an attack action. If you have one that has range, which I believe he does, yeah? He does. So, three die. I need swords. And I got one. You got one. All right, so I need to roll. Who are you attacking? The boss. All right, so you need shields. He does not. So how many, how many uh, one. hits? Huh? Just one. Just one. He pinged you. Now he flips over, right? Yes. So he does a little bit more damage now. And I can reroll one dice when uh, he makes a uh, uh, an attack action. All right. And your power step? No, wait. That, that was during my power step. Yes. So, no, that was in reaction to my thing. So, my power step, I'm not playing cards. Are you going to play a card? Nope. Okay, so now it's your activation. 
Um, think that Blood Rage is better because I think the Alliance phase of Rising Sun would irritate me, and the idea uh, that the loser gets the coins in battle could lead to king making. Uh, possibly. Um. We heard what you did to our brothers in the future. Two, three, four. He's gonna move one, two. Just two? Mm hmm. You guys are weird. <laughs> Um, all righty, um, I'm going to, let's see, I've got the upper hand, so we're just going to draw an action card. You're up. All right. I'm not playing anything on my power phase. Or power step, whatever you call it. Oh, I wonder what you have. Dork. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I will do this. This is my fourth activation, yeah, because mm -hmm. you went first. And Hakka is the one that I have, so one, two, three. I'm going to move him up there. And that's it. All right. Score this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, are we uh, going to end phase? Yeah. Okay, score objectives. Oh, yeah, Go ahead. Yeah. So score this in an end phase if you're holding objective four. All right, so you got that. Uh, I don't have any objectives that I can score. Um, do you have any more? Nope. Okay, so now we can discard unwanted objectives. <coughs> yep. And then we can discard unwanted power cards. No, uh, we can play upgrade cards right now if you if you want. And you have the ability to do one. Uh, yep. So I roll an extra die when I charge. Okay. <coughs> well, now we can uh, discard unwanted power cards. Okay, let's see. So you're what now? I upgraded Garrick instead. When okay. this fighter takes an enemy fighter out of action, gain one additional glory point. Okay. Um, now we uh, draw objective and power cards to a maximum of three and five, respectively. So I'm going to draw one action card. All right, so now we go back to um, initiative for the next phase. Uh, you can give me one of the white dice. Oops. Nothing. Nothing. 
Ah, one. All right. So you choose. Mm -hmm. I will go first. Okay. Go ahead. Um, he is going to move one. Two. How much life does he have? Four. Four. Actually. He could charge here, right? Yes. Just realize by doing that, you're going to give, if it doesn't matter which which one you attack, he'll be able to support the yeah, other the one. The defense. Yeah. yeah. No, we're just going to move there. Okay. Actually, we'll charge there. All right. So he's attacking. That's a critical. And I get, who are you attacking, Bone Cutter? I need shields. Actually, I need a crit. I don't. So, how much damage? One. Wow, you guys are brutal. Yeah, right? <laughs> they, it's dull blades. <laughs> we forgot to dull, rusty blades. Yeah, we forgot to sharpen them before this match, apparently. It's going to give us a rash when we get back to the uh, back home, but uh, not, not, not a whole lot of damage right now. Um... Uh, let's see, your power step, you gonna play any cards? Nope. Okay. Uh, I am going to choose an enemy fighter adjacent to one of your fighters. Push that fighter one hex. You, do you want to play one? Nope. Okay, so... Uh, now it's my activation. Um, let's go ahead and um, we're going to have Gerzag attack. This is good. Yes, we're going to attack him. So um, I can reroll dice when. This guy attacks, so I get two dice. I can reroll one die, sorry. All right, so I'm looking for axes, or hammers, I got two. Okay, so that's a hit. He does three damage. And that's another victory point. Oh, power phase, I'm sorry. Um, um, we're going to go ahead and do headlong rush with Basha. Um, his action gains knockback one. Okay. Let's see. Here's my turn, right? It is now, yes. One, two, three. Oh, chicken. Why are you running? Feel free to come get me. Why are you running, bruh? Uh, he moved. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> we have entered an alternate dimension <laughs> in which Vernon is non-combative. This is interesting. Okay. I learned a lot about this game since last time we played. <laughs> All righty, then. I am just going to draw a power card. 
You're up. Well, you can... I am... I am not going to play a card. He's just guarding. Mm -hmm. So you're a power step. You playing anything? Nope. Nor am I. Okay. So I'm going to discard that to draw this. Go ahead. I'm going to discard this to draw this. All right, my last activation will be to just draw a power card. All right. One thing that we haven't done that, that I always forget is uh, we're not doing, um, what is it called, uh, being driven back. Whenever you score uh, damage on somebody, like for these guys, mm -hmm. you you could have driven them back. I haven't done it to you, and you haven't done it to me, so. Oh, basically push you back one or something? Right. Okay. Just okay. the effect of the wound that was caused or what have you. Gotcha. I always forget about it. Is that optional, or is that? Uh, oh, I mean, like I can decide that, hey, I want to be pushed back. Yeah. Well, no, you, Attacking as the player. attacker, gotcha. can decide to push. Makes sense. All right, um, that's all of our activations. So now we can score any objectives. And I have, there's more of us. Uh. So we scored an end phase if we have more fighters on the battlefield than your opponent. So that gets me one. And I think that's it. Um, so now we can discard unwanted objectives. I did. You did? Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep mine. Uh, now we can play upgrade cards. And I'm gonna play... Dead Odd. This fighter can only be driven back by a critical hit. Uh -huh. And we're going to put that on Gerzog. Um, now we can uh, discard unwanted power cards. I'm going to discard both of these. Actually, you know what? That's cheesy. I don't like that card. So I'm going to get rid of that and that. Discard both of these. And now we draw back up to three and five, respectively. Oh, I should have done one extra damage. Oh, that wasn't the guy who hit. It was that guy. He did. Hmm. And then one, two, three. <clears throat> okay. So now we roll for initiative. Nothing. One. All right. Neither. I'll let you go first. All right. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, charge. Okay. Charge him. Oh, I guess I would have needed to play this on my power step. This is not a reaction. Um, no, that's fine. I don't want to. Yeah, well, you, you have the first action, so you wouldn't have had a chance to play this round anyway. This is the last round, by the way, as well. Yep. Oh, here you go. This one. It. Two hits. Whoa. 
So, well, it's one hit and a crit. Oh, okay. So, um... Would that do four damage? Huh? Or is it only two? I can't block it. It's like the other one that I rolled. Oh, okay. So it's two because damage. because I would have to I would have to have two dice. I would have to roll a defense for the for the hit and roll a crit. Gotcha. So that's that. That's on this uh, Yeah. Uh, how many is it? Two. Two hits. Guy? Uh, you did score a critical hit, so you can't push him back. You can push him back here. Can I push him here? Um, I believe not. I believe driving him back has to be done away so that I end up uh, further away from you. <laughs> can be driven back. You can push the targets one hex. This can be in any direction. That means they end up further away from the attacker. Yeah. Okay. Um, your power step. Uh, nope. Oh, actually, I guess I would need to do that now. Choose a friendly fighter, they suffer one damage. Uh, roll two extra dice for their first attack action and the next activation. Okay, again, this is one of those things where you gotta wait. Play out on my because turn. Because the next activation is gonna be That's my attack. I, okay, I was making sure. Well, guess what? <laughs> Garrick's coming for you. Uh, Did you ever play the second half of Hunt for the Ring yet? Um, yes, I have. I, I played. I played the second half of the first time I played it. Yeah, we played. But with Jason. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a good enough game. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the game. I just did not enjoy the rulebook. <sighs> that was. Uh, it was. It was like hunting for hobbits. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, okay, uh, in your power step, I'm going to play... Scragum. Scragum. Each friendly fighter that supports the first attack action and the next activation is considered to be two supporting fighters. Um, so that's... Um, let's see. So that's that. And you got any uh -oh. other power cards? No. No? Okay. All right. Um, let's go with uh, let's go with Haka. We're gonna go one, two, and that's gonna be a charge. And uh, that means he's gonna roll three dice. Can you hand me one. Um, And if I roll at least one attack, this attack gains cleave, which means that uh, cleave just means that um, a, certain, hit somebody adjacent. a certain kind of, no, 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 a certain kind of, uh, I just can't remember, the shield symbols cannot be used for defense. Mm. But I don't think that hurts you. Nope, I got the arrow. How much damage does he do? One. Oh, this guy should be inspired as well, because he's, he's received damage. That's a whole, that's two hits. So. You gotta roll a crit, which you did. <laughs> <coughs> um, yep, doesn't matter, you rolled a crit, okay. So, power step. I am not going to. That was my first activation, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to play anything on my power step. What about you? Now would I play that? Or I just play it on the If you're going to attack next turn, yes. Yeah, so. Choose All a right. friendly fighter. It's actually going to be this guy. Okay. 
he takes a wound. Yep. And I roll two extra attack die. Okay. So now your activation. Charge. One, two, three, four. All right. And I need swords, and he does one extra damage. Okay, so how many is that? Two hits. I know, but... Uh, oh, I gotta, it's I two damage. Do, yeah. Well, that would be a, a, a shield, but he did a crit. Um, so... Oh, fart. Yep. Oh, well. All right, so he's toast. Why? Oh. Because he had three hits on him, and you did two, right? Oh, I did. Yeah. Well, they all become inspired. Um. Huh? That was a parting shot on his, <laughs> yeah. on his, his behalf. All right. S nice knife in the back. Second activation. He, that was a charge, too, yeah. Yes. Your power step. Oh, you get a victory point, by the way. Because you knocked out somebody. And now I, I can't play an upgrade, right? Yeah, you can. Do you play more than one on the same character, or a different character? Uh, as long as there aren't uh, restrictions in the bottom, on the bottom of the... Well, you would have killed all the people that I needed. Come on, Garrick. Okay, we're going to activate. And we're gonna move one, two, three over this way. And. Are you just moving? Recharging. How many hit points does. Uh that guy has one. This guy has three. Okay. Bone cutter. He does three. Yeah, we'll just move. We will just move. My power step, I'm not going to play anything. Who are you attacking? Bone cutter? Is that him? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to attack that guy. Jeez, you and the crits. Uh, is that an attack and a crit? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's my third one. All right, well. It doesn't really matter. I can't block it because I can't get two crits, which is what I would need. So I do need to play on your feet. 
uh, during an attack action or ploy that would take a friendly fighter out of action, which is right now, because you're going to score three damage with that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to roll a defense die on a roll of a shield or a crit. The fighter does not suffer damage and is not taken out of action. So this is a shot in the dark. <laughs> wow. On your feet, soldier! Uh, power set? Nope. Me neither. Me neither. All right. Um, so my final activation uh, is going to be to go one, two, three. And he has he has one hit point. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just move. And that's my final activation. You're up. Oh, power step. Are oh, you not charging? Why wouldn't you charge? I don't know. That's. I don't know. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing any powers. All right, I'm gonna get a different uh, card. All right, you're up. So that's the end of oh. the. Th Score this immediately if three or more of your fighters made a charge action in this phase. Good job. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. I put Sam at ease. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, okay, so. Uh, during the end phase, we have score objectives. So I'm going to score this objective, which says score this in an end phase of all friendly fighters. At least three are adjacent to enemy fighters. Mm. I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk killing them, which would gotcha. make this. And this is worth two victory points. So I'm going to do two, and I think that's all I can do. I would have been able to do this if you didn't kill my leader. What is this 3-4? <clears throat> In a 3 or 4 player game, that's an additional thingy. Ah, But okay. without that 3-4, since we're only doing a 2 player and game, this is isn't considered first. enemy territory, or it's considered... No, this is considered no man's land. Well, I don't score that one then. <laughs> I was hoping you could kill him. You yeah. score this in the third phase if all your surviving fighters are in your opponent's territory. Yeah. And then, you didn't kill off my guys. Yeah. I was hoping you would. No, nah, that's why I don't, because I know that's in there. <laughs> so, all right, so um, we are pretty much done because discarding on one objective is playing upgrade cards and all that kind of stuff that doesn't do, have any effect. So it's just five to three. Yep. You won by that five last to three. objective. Yes, I did. Yeah. I was trying to push around you just so you would kill off my guy. Mm. Yeah, no, I I know Corn's Champion is in there, so I, I try to not. And then a, a lot of the objective cards that my guys have, we have to be like in the fight still. Oh, so you don't so, want to. Die. Right. I mean, I don't have any of these hold objective cards in my hand. Oh, okay. In my objective deck. I ended up having getting three and five, uh -huh. but I had five at the same time. I had the one where I needed everybody over here. You had four too. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm saying at the end. Uh -huh. I ended up having three in the second phase, yeah. and you were sitting there. Oh, okay. And I didn't know about the pushback at that point. Oh, and that was fine. I'm sorry. But I had five when I had the one where it was everybody over here. So I was like, okay, he'll kill this guy, and I'll be good. Because <laughs> I have these other two guys yeah. back here. No, of course not. I'm like, we get <laughs> oh, let's see here. Um... Kabuki Kid asks, is, is the rule book for Hunt for the Ring any worse than War of the Ring. Um, I, have, I have not read the rule book for War of the Ring. I've only been taught how to play it, so I can't really say. But it is written with the same philosophy in mind uh, in that they would, rather be, they would rather use more words, more explanation to get their point across than be accused of not having enough information in the rule book, which I completely understand. I just don't, I just don't like it when rule books do that. 
Um, so I don't I don't know if it's similar, but from what people have said, I I think it is. But again, it's just it's a style of writing rule books that they're that they are uh, on. Uh, Kabuki Kid still want to play Kimmet too. Kimmet is a good game, and uh, the expansion that's coming out this year, the set expansion, really fun. Oh, you played it already? Yeah, we played it at uh, the gathering this year. Ah, that's um, the one versus all, right? You yes, the one versus all. Yeah, where where one player takes on the role of set, and uh, he is battling everybody else. That is and, interesting. And uh, it's so it turns it into a uh, semi cooperative game rather than a purely competitive game. Yeah, but who wants that? Uh, a lot of people do. I think you would really enjoy it, actually, especially if you play set. Well, of course. Yeah. I would have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, The Others is one of my favorite games for a reason. Yeah. All right. Well, that is about it. It is 3 o'clock. I think we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We've been going for three hours, so I think that's pretty good, um, which is really long for the two games that we played. It doesn't, well, I mean, we did take a lot of time for setting up and, and that type of stuff in between. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like we played for that long, though. Either, no, either of them. no, we didn't. We played uh, about, I think, about a 40... F oh, 90 minutes for the first 90 one. minutes for the first yeah. one, but that had some rules, rules teaching yep. and stuff like that, this too. This one was real fast. Yeah, this is always really fast. This is one of the reasons I really like it. This is one of the reasons I don't like it. Well, you are stupid. There's only three rounds. Right. It needs to be five. But then you could drop it and play it again. No, and then we'll just want to kill everything. <laughs> no, you didn't. You spent most of your time running around, you weirdo. <laughs> I was trying a different strategy. It didn't work either. It didn't work out. Well, the orcs have redeemed themselves from the Heroes of Black Reach debacle, as uh, yeah. uh, we are going to call that. Um, it was a bad tactic. As orc players. But uh, that is that. I hope you enjoyed our, our live stream. We're going to go ahead and get on out of here because we've got other things to do. Yep. And uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully it was uh, enjoyable for you. We'll Thank see you, you on the flip side. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.